Retail Therapy, Understanding and Using the Phrase. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a very interesting and fun English phrase, Retail Therapy. This phrase is commonly used in everyday English, especially in casual and informal conversations. Understanding phrases like this can really enrich your English vocabulary and help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's dive in. Retail therapy refers to the act of shopping with the primary purpose of improving one's mood or emotional state. The phrase humorously equates shopping with a type of therapeutic activity, like counseling or therapy. It's often used when someone shops to alleviate stress, sadness, or disappointment. It's important to note that retail therapy is generally seen as a temporary and often impulsive solution to emotional distress. The term, retail therapy, is relatively modern and is believed to have originated in the late 20th century. It reflects a consumer culture where shopping is a common leisure activity and is often associated with feelings of pleasure or reward. Despite its humorous tone, the phrase also brings attention to the emotional relationship people can have with shopping. Now, let's look at some examples of how to use retail therapy in sentences. 1. After a tough week at work, I decided to indulge in a little retail therapy this weekend. 2. She believes in retail therapy and often goes shopping when she feels down. 3. My friend suggested some retail therapy to help me get over my breakup. Notice how the phrase is often used to describe shopping as a way to cope with negative emotions or stress. While retail therapy can be enjoyable, it's important to use it responsibly. It's not a solution for deep-seated emotional issues, and excessive shopping can lead to financial problems. It's always good to balance shopping with other healthy coping mechanisms like exercise, talking to friends, or pursuing hobbies. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and use of retail therapy. Remember, Learning phrases like this can add color and depth to your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find your own healthy ways to deal with stress, whether it's through retail therapy or other means. See you in the next video.